Okay, let's assume we have finished doing our F1 car design and we're ready to manufacture. In order to do that, we need to add one more part that is only for that purpose and we will turn off for every other view. First thing I'm going to do is to hide all of the parts that don't get made from Balsa, just to leave this bit behind. Let's assume we're going to 3D print body part 4. We have the problem that when the cutter is made, it is held securely from this end, but once the cutter comes around and removes the nose, the whole body will become loose and the cutter will probably damage it. So therefore we need to leave a sacrificial bridge piece that we then cut off and sand flat later on. So to do this, we're going to do a sketch and we want to pick a plane that's going right down the middle of the car. So we can see here, in this case, it's the front plane. First thing we want to do is to use the Use tool to trace one of the rear lines of the car. And now after this, it's simply a matter of doing a rough shape around the car. So we're not wasting time waiting for the cutter to remove material that doesn't need to be removed. Okay, now the important part. We need to dimension between the back of the car and the front of the timber to a distance of 223 which is the size that the blocks come and we need to set the height to 50 millimeters. The exact dimensions of these other parts don't matter too much as long as there's at least a gap here as big as the cutter and we use a 6 mil cutter. So we might just double check here that we have a gap. Oh that's a curved line so Let's try that again. Let's go from a point to the line. Okay, and we have just under 9mm and we can see visually that that's going to be fine. The last bit is to draw where we actually want it to attach to the car and it can overlap here. That's not a problem. And we will dimension this to make sure it's big enough so it doesn't snap off before we intend it to. Very important too to note that this base is lined up with the base of the timber car. We're now finished with that sketch. Now with two extrusions. Firstly, this small one in the middle. We're going to come to symmetric. And since we drew it in the center, it's going to come out either side. We might go for a thickness of 10 there. Make sure it's set to add. Then we will show our sketch again and extrude the second part. So we select the correct bit, once again symmetric, and we type in 65, which is the width of how the timber block comes. And this is now ready to export as an STL to go into your favorite CAM program for manufacture. The way I've drawn this here works really well if you're cutting your car from the side. If you're cutting it from the top, you would draw the bit so it came down the sides and came around the car like a U with two little bits attaching almost like a hammerhead shark but the main things you need to get right are the distance between this surface and the end surface it should be 223 and also making sure the height of that is 50 and the width is 65 when the car is cut it will come out like this You'll simply take a saw down the middle of this section and sand it flat again.